In this chapter of the Alderic Pro course, we are going to rig an ostrich. I'll keep this video much simpler than the previous one about rigging a bird with feathered wings, facial controls and so on. You can always combine what you learned in the previous video with this one. Here I just want to show another example of rigging a very different type of bird. And I think this will be a nice prelude to the upcoming chapters about rigging dinosaurs. So let's start. I'm going to add armature and choose the bird preset. From the next chapter we're going to start exploring the empty armature and building armatures ourselves. But for now let's go with the bird. Edit reference bones. Select all bones with A. Switch to 3D cursor and scale up the bird to the size of the ostrich. Since I'm not going to be rigging any feathers, I'll select one of the arms, limb options, disable wings and press OK, and same on the other side. Let's start by quickly aligning the spine, which is these three bones. Change the pivot point to bounding box center. And align something like this. This will be the neck and this is the head, so just align the head with the point of rotation of the head around here, then select the neck, limb options and give it a higher count. Something like 5 or 6 should be enough. And then align with the neck. Let's give this ostrich a tail by adding a limb tail. Three tail bones should be enough. You can also look at anatomical references if you want to be more precise. I'm actually going to look at some references now for the wing alignment, but I'm not that concerned with the tail, so I'll just eyeball it. Now let's work on the wing. The wing of the ostrich is probably quite different from other birds. It has a long upper arm, a very short lower arm and an equally short hand. So keeping that in mind, let's align these arm bones. This is the shoulder or clavicle bone. It is not particularly important for the bird, so let's just align it and place it inside the body, keeping it fairly short. Scale down the lower arm and hand and place them inside the wing geometry. And then from the top view, we're going to make the final alignment. Something like this should work in my opinion. Something to consider is the parenting. By default, the arm will be parented to this last spine bone. But here it is closer to this bone, so maybe it makes more sense to parent it to it. Next, let's work on the legs. And here on this image, we can already see what kind of bones we are going to need. The ostrich has a very short upper leg, then a long lower leg, and this is a very long foot. Looking at comparative anatomy can also help you make sense of things. So you see that this is technically the knee of the bird, and this is the ankle, and the ostrich walks on its toes. So let's try to recreate this. So I'm going to align this first bone with the toes and the second one will be this part here, basically the metatarsal bones in a human, which in a human are very rigid, but in a bird have a much more important purpose. Then this will be the foot, then we have the upper leg, and we still need one more bone to account for the upper leg. So let's select this leg bone, limb options, and enable three bone leg. Same for the other leg. And align this bone with the upper leg. Align from front view. And if you want control for the individual toes, you can select one of the leg bones, 
go to limb options and enable two toes. I think the pinky and middle would be fine. Press OK. And on the other side, same thing. Middle and pinky. Make sure that you choose the exact same toes so that the symmetry works correctly. Let's align these bones as well. Push them closer together and place them behind the toes. I think I've mentioned it before, but this big toe bone will allow you to pivot the whole leg on this point here. And these bones here create the functionality that allows you to raise the foot on its heels. Let's hide this big toe and work on the individual toes. Align is something like this, Alt H. And I think we are getting close to the final bone alignment. I'll press match the rig, select my model, shift select the armature, go to skin. I say this every time, but I personally uncheck preserve volume and click bind. And the basic binding is looking quite good actually. Some changes that I would do to the rig is to switch the wings to FK. It's always very easy to flip these types of legs so you can disable snap pole parent. But other than that, I really like these leg controls. This is the toe tip and heel behavior that I talked about earlier. And I think this will be great for animating. A little edit that you can do to the arm or wing is to go to Edit Reference Bones, select one of the arm bones, Limb Options, and enable Arm FK Lock Free. And I think this option should be enabled by default. Now if I match the rig and go to Tool, I have this additional arm lock option for the arm. If I keep it to the default value, the wings will move with the spine. If I set it to zero, they will keep their orientation. Actually, when the wings are closed, having this to one makes more sense because the wings move with the body. But when the ostrich is running around with the wings outstretched, then having this to zero may actually be better. You'll have to play with it and find out for yourself. 